It's estimated that some 80% of males are circumcised, but we found a group of men that are trying to reverse their circumcisions by themselves at home. So Dr. Botcher here has an example of an at-home kit, uses balloons to stretch the foreskin back to what it was like pre-circumcision. The creator of this kit said it took about a year to stretch his foreskin. And so joining us now via Skype to discuss this is urologist and the author of the penis book, Dr. Aaron Spitz. So Dr. Spitz, this DIY at home does not sound like a good idea to me. Are you having men request reversal of circumcisions? And if so, what about this DIY kit? I, I like to call that kit hardware restoration. <laughs> and uh, honestly, no, I, there's not a big demand for restoring foreskins, but I do have a big demand of men coming in with normal, healthy foreskins who want circumcisions. Most of the guys who seek this are seeking this because they are concerned that they're having some sort of inferior sexual experience because they don't have their foreskin. So are they telling you that the sensation is just decreased because of that circumcision they had many years ago? That's what they think in these very small groups of men who are seeking this. And scientific studies have actually been conducted that demonstrate that the sensation in men who are circumcised or uncircumcised is exactly the same. The sexual satisfaction is the same. The erections, the orgasm, it's all the same when scientifically studied. I mean, there, there's another group that put weights on to stretch out their foreskin, right? Yeah, literally yanking your chain, and really that's all it is. <laughs> so I think, I think when I was looking into this topic, I was fascinated actually with some of the online forums that talk about how to do it yourself, and then I watched this really graphic video of how to use this device. So people are out there and they're using air pressure to stretch their skin. What are some of the risks for people out there looking at this? Well, the risks of DIY medical treatments are typically the same regardless of what you're looking at. When you're trying to do some kind of home-based surgery, home-based technique, you might injure your skin and cause an opening for an infection. But you might stretch your skin in ways that are deformed when you're all done and regret it and can't go back, kind of like a perhaps a piercing or a tattoo gone wrong. Furthermore, you may alter some of the sensation in those little delicate nerves in the skin from chronically traumatizing them. So it's really not a good idea to do this or any other kind of surgical procedure at home. What's the scene like at the Batra household when your husband walks in and you're watching videos <laughs> of some guy, like her husband's a urologist. Correct. Like, Honey, what, what are you doing? You know, so what's even more cringeworthy in my household is my 10-year-old and my 8-year-old walking up on me <laughs> while I'm watching a video like, like, how do you explain because that one to the kids? It's, I actually, the one video I watched for a device like this, it's, it's actually very graphic because this part is inserted over the glands and then this part wraps over the foreskin and you use air pressure to pump it up and you actually watch the skin expanding like a balloon. In my opinion, any part of your body stretching yeah. the skin and you're not under medical supervision is a bad idea. Uh, really quickly before we go, Dr. Spitz, I am curious because a lot of men are worried, well, am I having the best sensation possible? When does a man need to worry about that? The most important sex organ is really right between your ears. Uh, yeah, and so sure. if men can get uh, out of their heads and relax and enjoy their experience and not be so focused on whether they're circumcised or not circumcised, understanding that real science has already answered that question, there's no difference. They can get on with a much happier, healthier sex life. Well, and having you the voice of reason, yeah. quickly, on, on that note, I mean, there's there's talk now of enhancement procedures with inject, injections, fillers, uh, adding, putting heat on your penis similar to the face to enhance collagen elastin. Please address the that. The vast majority of men are normal. Yes, the vast majority of men are normal in size, but they don't, many of them don't think they are. Uh, the vast majority of men, almost all men who come in for some kind of a procedure to make the penis bigger are actually normal. They just don't realize it. A lot of it is because of the uh, uh, pornography and how ubiquitous this is, and those guys are, are supersized. They're not normal. So yeah. in most cases, it's not necessarily just a matter of re-education. Well, I feel like you should write a book called The Penis Book. <laughs> yeah, maybe, maybe oh, wait, bring that you did. people. <laughs> Cheers, Dr. Spitz.